The Jeffrey family spends a lot of time in the backyard playing. Much less time inside learning, but not because of a lack of trying. I just think it's an impossible situation because, you know, unless you're in person, um, in the classroom with JKH kids, you just, you just can't. It's impossible. Nicola's middle child, Scott, who is five and in junior kindergarten, has autism spectrum disorder. He struggles with regulating his emotions. With school, that the therapy that he was having, he was uh, learning to cope with those things, and he'd made such amazing progress. After a rough start in the classroom, Scott was managing well until COVID-19 shut schools. The rug was uh, pulled out from us very quickly. They're facing the same thing that the families of one third of a million students with disabilities around the province are facing during this COVID crisis. Accessibility advocates say while the provincial government has acknowledged the added hardship for students with special needs during this time of online learning, what's lacking is a comprehensive plan on how to remove the added barriers. They held a recent virtual town hall to provide teachers and parents with tips for teaching students with disabilities remotely or online. It help keep the structure and the predictability that comes with this. On Tuesday, when it was revealed schools in Ontario will remain closed, the education minister announced new initiatives specific to students with special needs. We have put out an expectation to our boards of education that every single mental health and special education resource that is funded in this province is fully unlocked to support our kids. But this advocate calls that approach ineffective. What they've done is they're leaving it to every one of over 70 school boards to each face the same problems and have to reinvent the same wheel all in the middle of a crisis. In addition, the province is offering a two-week transition program to help ease kids in special education back to class. It's just laughable, really. You just can't offer a one-size-fits-all for all kids. The Jeffreys say they won't be enrolling Scott. Karen Lieberman, Global News.